Mmm. Today we're spilling tea and it's hot. Stick around. Hello everyone and welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Caleb and on here you're going to find a lot of things like luxury shopping, reveals, reviews, unboxings, luxury travel, daily vlogs, pretty much anything that has to do with life and style, you're going to find right here. So before we go any further, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, give this video a thumbs up, say hi down in the comments, find me over at Instagram, caleb.snell.designer. And what are we doing today? We are spilling tea and it is hot as promised. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so today we're going to be switching handbags and I'm going to be talking about a topic, a hot topic, hot tea, right? So we're going to be switching from my YSL Muse 2 in the green suede croc. And huge shout out, a lot of you have been commenting on my older YSL Muse 2 videos and you guys inspired me to dig this out of the closet. I carried it Thursday and Friday this week and oh my God, I love this bag. These were originally on the chopping block to sell. I also have it in the blue. If you're new around here and you don't know, I like multiples. I have it in the blue, almost sold them and so glad I didn't. So thank you guys. And because it's the weekend and we're gonna go into the city, I'm switching into my Kelly. Now, today's topic is a mean comment that I received unveiling this bag, unboxing it for you guys. Not really such so much a mean comment, just like a really stupid one. And it, it got me thinking like, this could be a really good topic for a video. Now as a content creator, we, we're putting ourselves out there. Like we are out there, like as much as like you, you don't really think people are going to, like everyone's got feedback for you, no matter what, 99.99% of the time, it is very positive and I've met some awesome people down in my comments. Occasionally some like really stupid comments come through, which I mean, thank you for the laughs. They're amazing. I'm never gonna really read mean comments on this channel because that's not what this is about. We get enough of that, like, you know, in our daily lives. Like when you come here, I want you to like, just like chill, talk about like bag stuff, travel, like just, chill positive vibes only, but this comment kind of annoyed me. So we're gonna discuss it. Now you're thinking like, what is the comment? Like what, what could be so bad that you need to do a whole video on this? Love that about you, stay curious. I have the receipts here. <laughs> Mind you, I was unboxing this bag. The only time this person's ever commented on one of my videos too, by the way, and he lives in a small apartment, question mark, exclamation mark. H have you come to dinner? How do you know my apartment's small? Like I know, like it, we're pretty much always in the same room, right? Humble brag, it's a two bed, two bath with a den. So like not necessarily massive, like it's not a labyrinth. It's 1400 square feet. It's enough for Zane and I, the only two people that live here. And it works. It's well furnished, it's well appointed. I mean, that's Ethan Allen, Baker, Barnhart, Drexel, really good stuff. We're fine with it. We're both young professionals. We like to travel. I don't need a labyrinthian home yet. It would be nice one day. We all know I need more closet space. Let's start switching bags and we're gonna discuss this some more. House sizes and who deserves to buy luxury? Let's talk about that. Who deserves luxury and, and what kind of a home do you have to live in in order to participate? I mean, at the end of the day, this is just frivolous overpriced junk. Like, let's be honest. Five, 10 years from now, this bag won't be worth anything. This bag, I mean, who knows what the handbag market's gonna do, right? So at the end of the day, this is all just like frivolous material stuff. Like I'm not, like we're not, you know, curing major diseases here in these discussions and or doing anything important. Like it's, it's handbags, it's fashion, right? Frivolous. So why does my house need to be massive in order for me to buy these things? Yes, Kelly's and Birkin's are exponentially more expensive than what something like this would cost. This is like a $500 bag, whereas this is like an $8,000 bag. No one's calling anyone out when they're buying like, eight or nine of these, which is the equivalent to one of these and saying like, oh, your house is so small. You don't deserve, you know, eight YSL bags, you know, oh, look at you, right? So like, why is it okay when I buy one really expensive bag after skipping a handful of these, right? It's not, I'm gonna share with you guys a story. We're gonna spill some more tea here. When you're driving around, for those of you who don't know, and you see those beautiful McMansions on a hill behind a gate, you think, wow, everything in there is perfect, right? It's not. <laughs> I actually know someone who built a gorgeous custom home, six bedrooms. They always had the newest cars. I don't ever think they, they kept a car longer than, than a year. Like once it was done, traded in, lease something new. The best clothes, the best vacations, never saw them wear anything twice. Now, when you went to their home, the first floor, beautiful, stunning. It was the mid 2000s, so it was like a hard mix of like Tuscany and French provincials. It worked for the time, now it, now it wouldn't pass. But back in the day, the first floor was decorated to the hilt, like ready for home and gardens, architectural digest to come in, shoot the photo shoot, like gorgeous. However, nothing is as it seems in those large homes. 
After you left the beautiful decadence of the first floor and you went up to the bedrooms, the bedrooms were literally mattresses on the floor with a milk crate as a nightstand. For the kids, for the parents, like that's what the second floor was. So yes, they had the big house, they had the nice cars, could they afford it? On paper, yeah, she deserves the Kelly, she deserves the Birkin, but why doesn't someone in a two bedroom apartment who can afford their lifestyle, why can't they have the Kelly or the Birkin? See what I mean? Growing up, I also lived in a large home and luckily my parents and I all hated each other. So we all had about a thousand to 1200 square feet on our own, never had to see each other and it worked out. I, funny story, actually like my husband and enjoy spending time with them. So I don't need a thousand square feet to myself. That would be wasteful. So you'll have to forgive me if we're a one car household living in a reasonably sized apartment that we can afford. It happens to work out. It's good for the environment. It's good for us and it works. We don't need something huge yet. I mean, Granted, don't get me wrong, I'd love to have a second place, you know, like actually in the city or better yet in another country that we can go on vacation at. But for now this works. We don't have kids yet. We don't have pets. Just food for thought. Now, I love keeping things light on this channel and I'm willing to overlook and forgive one stupid comment. This reminded me of something that I once read in one of my honestly favorite books from Emily Post, Etiquette, the 1945 edition. 1943 is pretty good too, but I just happen to have 1945 on hand. This is from chapter 26, The Well-Appointed House. Beyond these fundamental necessities, luxuries can be added indefinitely, such as splendor of architecture, of gardening, and of furnishing, with every refinement of service that executive ability can produce. With all this genuine splendor possible only to the greatest establishments, a little house can no more compete than a diamond weighing but half a carat can compete with a stone weighing 50 times as much. And this is a good simile, because the perfect little house may be represented by a corner cut from precisely the same stone and differing therefore merely in size and value naturally. Whereas the house in bad taste and improperly run may be represented by a diamond that is off color and full of flaws, or in some instances, merely a piece of glass that to none but those as ignorant as its owner for a moment suggests a gem of value. A gem of a house may be no size at all, but its lines are honest and its painting and furnishings in good taste. As for its upkeep, its path of sidewalk is beautifully neat, step scrubbed, brass is polished, and its bell answered promptly by a trim made with a low voice and quiet and courteous manner, all of which may very well contribute as unmistakably to the impression of quality as the luxury of a palace whose bronze door is, is opened by the smartest of footmen. Now, it sounds like you need a copy, you know who you are, so feel free to email me your address and I'll send you one. I love this book, there's a lot in here you could learn. Anyway guys, what did we do today other than throw some shade, drop some tea, and, and look at our receipts? <laughs> Not much. So we switched from my Muse 2, which is by far one of my most favorite bags. And I, I kid you not, three, four comments this week came in like saying like, Caleb, like you're the reason why I bought this bag. Like I had to come back and rewatch this because I wanted to buy a second one. Do it because these bags are amazing and they sell for next to nothing. You absolutely should buy as many of these as you can. They come in a few different sizes. There's a messenger version. And price wise, they're usually about like 300 up to about a thousand depending on materials, colors, things like that. I love these bags. They're so cool. They're under the radar, very YSL. And we switched into my Hermes Kelly 35. Now I know, you're like, Caleb, oh my God, like every video, you're gonna talk about your Kelly 35. I promise you I'm going to go one month minus vlogs without this bag making an appearance. Ooh, probably, most likely, I'm gonna try. I am with you guys. I hate when content creators get like one big holy grail bag and that's all they freaking talk about. Like I promise, I'm not that guy. I'm not him. You're gonna see this in vlogs, but I'm not going to make a dedicated video over it. This just happened to be like what I'm gonna be carrying into the city this weekend and the bag in question from the shameful comment. Now, don't think that I'm gonna be responding to all mean comments, I'm not. I get a laugh out of them, we screenshot them just to save them and that's that. Like, I grew up gay in the rural Midwest. There's very little you can say that's ever gonna hurt my feelings, trust and believe. Anyway guys, chime in below. Like, let me know, like who, who deserves luxury? Is it only reserved for those that have a certain set and background or can anyone play? Is anyone allowed to come to the, the luxury table and have a bite? I think they are, but I wanna know what you think. So let me know down in the comments. And that's that. That's all that we have for you today. Come back on Wednesday. I'm, I'm back to my regular schedule of programming. Zane and I needed to take a break. I've been exhausted, work has been challenging lately, and I just needed some time to myself, and that's what weekends are for. Also, we live in Chicago, and in the wintertime, it's not like we can go out and do a whole lot of fun stuff, so, because it's cold. 
now that the weather is getting a little better, hopefully soon, I mean, it's mid January, that's probably not, probably not going to happen, but <laughs> we are going to get back to having more fun on the weekends, sharing that with you guys, taking you along. So get excited. We're back and we're happy to be here until next time, guys, stay safe, have fun, buy a bag, no matter how big your house is. I don't care. Have fun. See ya. Bye-bye. <laughs>